Have you ever wondered why more and more young men are drawn to older women? There's no one bats an eye when an older man dates a younger woman, but society often judges relationships when the roles are reversed. It might seem surprising, but there are some fascinating reasons why older women have become incredibly attractive to younger men. Let's explore the science, psychology, and social trends that reveal why age might just be a number after all. Attractiveness isn't only about physical beauty. It's a complex mix of traits that captivate us. Research from Harvard University shows that attractiveness generally breaks down into physical appeal, social dominance. Older women often score high across these categories, especially in confidence, which are incredibly appealing qualities. As humans, it's in our biology to judge everything. That includes people whom you encounter for the first time in your life. We first judge them by appearance. After interaction, we judge their personality traits. The term love at first glance comes from you judging the person that you see for the first time ever. You might find their physical appearance appearance attractive or you might not and you make those decisions in seconds subconsciously which influences your future interaction here's a scenario john meets stacy for the first time ever john at the first glance finds stacy attractive based on the facial features and overall physical appearance next step for john would be interacting with stacy john and stacy talk to each other and stacy shows a lot of attitude and she's not being nice at all even though john found stacy's physical appearance very attractive john did not find stacy's personality personality very much attractive. John doesn't want to interact with Stacy ever again because she's a total bitch. This means that attractiveness isn't only determined by physical appearance only. When you get to know the person and you know that you're interacting with a shitty person, you don't want to interact with that person ever again. Now, attractiveness is a very subjective topic. I might like vanilla ice cream and you might like chocolate ice cream, but we're going to apply statistics why older women seem more attractive to younger men. Society is shifting. More young men are choosing older women as partners, and particularly due to changing in cultural norms. According to today.com, 81% of women are open to dating someone 10 years younger than they are, and nearly 90% of men are interested in dating someone 10 years older. It wasn't always like this. Media and culture often glorified youth, but today, iconic celebrities that may represent this certain age group show that age can enhance beauty and charisma. This is sparking a broader acceptance of age gap relationships and redefining what attractive looks like. I definitely think he's a better communicator than me. I think this generation, I believe that they're more fearless. They're able to say how they feel in that moment, handle it and move forward. On top of that, older women's life experiences often translate into wisdom and stability. A survey from Psychology Today suggests that many people now value emotional maturity and life experiences over just physical traits, which is a game changer in how we see attractiveness. Older women are more attractive than younger women. As the good old saying goes, people are like wine. The older it gets, the better it tastes. <laughs> So what's drawing younger men specifically to older women? For many, it's the combination of stability, life experience, maturity. For some men, older women represent a steadying influence that might even be tied to their upbringing or past relationships. Psychologists note that young men with what's often called mommy issues or even those dealing with past trauma can be drawn to older women who brings a sense of security and emotional depth. Older women's maturity often feels like a safe heaven, offering understanding and emotional grounding, which can be increasingly appealing. Many young men see older women as confident, direct, and knowing what they want. Studies showed that around 25% of age gap relationships involve older women and younger men. This trend is rising, particularly in urban areas where social norms tend to be more progressive. Also, it would be wrong not to mention a lot of young men looking for sugar mommies. You know, I'm not concerned with my woman making more money than me at all. That doesn't threaten your manhood. No. 
<laughs> you may see it in social media today, and it is pretty interesting. And sometimes older women want younger men to feel young again themselves. And biologically speaking, younger men would perform better sexually than older men would. So that could be a contributing factor for older women looking for younger men to fulfill their sexual needs. Forbes mentioned that sugar dating may be a short-term mating strategy. And there are lots of evolutionary theories that are involved with sugar dating. And this is a very interesting yet awkward topic to talk about. Older women bring a different kind of evolutionary advantage to the table. With age often comes emotional maturity, stability, and wisdom, all qualities that can be vital for the well-being of the offspring and the formation of the supportive family units. The human brain evolved to seek out nurturing and dependable relationship which can be more frequently found in partners with life experience. For young men choosing an older partner might subconsciously represent a bond that provides guidance, stability, and lower likelihood of short-term conflicts. Traits that enhance the odds of relationship success. The idea of authenticity as discussed by existentialist philosophers Jean-Paul Sartre, excuse my French, also play a role here. Individuals having overcome insecurities and social pressures tend to embody a sense of self-awareness and authenticity. Younger men might be drawn to this authenticity as a means of exploring their own identity and finding meaning within the relationship. My name is Steve Jobs and that is it for today's episode. I like to discuss these types of ideas because they're pretty much taboo topics to talk about. Some people find it awkward to talk about it, but I find it totally normal, so please leave a comment about what topic I should talk about in the next episode. And make sure it's a topic that is not discussed by the mainstream media at all. I would love to read your comments and answer them and talk about it in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching.